Are you still reaching for your calculator on every math problem? This automatic reflex just costs you three minutes on a 30 second question. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a problem that looks like it's going to be calculator heavy, but in reality, it isn't. In fact, it's going to take you a lot more mental space and time to do it the calculator way than by using it the way I'm showing you later. Right now, I have my calculator up right here for you guys, and we're going to try to solve for this problem right here. X squared plus 13X minus 48 over X squared plus 7X minus 30. And I want you to solve for when X is equal to two. So a lot of students would just use a calculator. The top would be two squared, which is four plus 13 times two is 26 minus 48. And that's going to give you negative 18 on top. Now the bottom is going to be four plus 14 because that's seven times two minus 30. That's going to be negative 12. And then that's going to be 18 divided by 12 is equal to 1.5. All right. It may seem kind of fast, but I have a much easier way to show it to you. And one that requires less brain power. Sometimes it's not about the time it saves. It's the mental power that it saves you. So if I break this up, you're going to have X minus three times X plus 16. And then on top, if you factor it, you're going to have X minus three times X plus 10. Now, Jared, how do you know to factor this? Anytime you see a polynomial over another polynomial, then you can most likely factor it. So that means X minus three is canceled out. X minus three is canceled out. And that will give you 18 over 12, which will give you 1.5. Now my editor is going to show you the amount of seconds it took for me to do it. Method number one, and how many seconds it took me to do method number two. And even though it may not seem like a lot, you can imagine with 22 problems on each math module, this can quickly add up. So every second counts for this type of problem. Now you've been trained to reach for your calculator, but the highest SAT scores know exactly when to ignore it completely. These aren't harder problems. They're smarter problems that reward thinking over computing. Your brain is faster than any machine when you know the shortcuts. If you want to crush your SAT and understand why colleges are bringing back test requirements and affecting your admission chance, I reveal exactly what's happening and what students must do in one of my YouTube videos. Just comment the word blueprint and I'll show you exactly what's really changing in college admissions.